I know, I know, I know, I know. I've screwed what few subscribers I have over with my shitty uploading schedule. I'm surprised they're even still subscribed to me. You know who you are, and thank you for still staying subscribed. But anyway, in case you can't tell by the title of the video, <clears throat> today I'm going to be reviewing this. What's going on, guys? It's Benjamin, or otherwise known as Special Reviews and stuff, and today I'm obviously going to be doing a review of the Game Boy Advance SP. Um, yeah. Now, a bit of... I wouldn't say a bit of background because I can't be bothered, but basically, with the original Game Boy Advance, people complained that you couldn't play it in the dark, so Nintendo listened to that, and not only did they make it more portable, they made it so you can play it in the dark. Um... Yeah, I can see my ugly mug. Um, yeah, so let's go over it a bit. You got your start button, select A, B, up, down, left, right, and you basically your D pad. Come on, focus. Thank you. And you got your yeah, shoulder buttons, L and R. You got a your link cable port, and something new, a charging port. And on either side, there's two holes <laughs> holes where you can put a strap on it and attach it to your bag or wear it on your wrist yeah I used to have a blue one I still do but Basically, I got pissed off with it, and I cracked the screen on it, and then I took it apart, because what good is a Game Boy Advance SP gonna, gonna do me if it has a cracked screen? And you got your power switch. and your volume slider and of course your cartridge slot you probably can't tell but this is come on focus it's no good trying to read the label anyway because it's all scratched up but basically there are two types of Game Boy Advance SP. One is the front lit model. The AGS 001 which is what this is. And the AGS 101 which is backlit which in my personal opinion looks a lot better than this one. And also, you may notice I haven't talked about this button here yet. Well, that is a brightness button on the AGS-101. It makes the screen brighter or darker. On the AGS-001, it either turns it on or off. 
which I think is a cool thing about it. But, um, yeah. So, why not test it out with some games? Um, <clears throat> oh, man. Um, let's start with 12-in-1 cartridge. I think I got this off of Wish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it off of Wish. How Nintendo allows these to be made, I don't know, but... Ah. And, oh, I timed it too late, but the GBA has a cool little Easter egg where if you, as soon as you turn the power on with the cartridge inserted and you hold down the start and select buttons, that's not what I wanted to do, um, the Nintendo logo will disappear and you can make it reappear by hitting the A button and I think or I think the B button hang on I'm gonna have to adjust things so you can you can see my shitty camera setup Queen, they're my favourite band. Um, I really need to come better prepared for the, these videos and I do sincerely apologise for not preparing, but right now I can play it, but you can see my ugly mug. <sighs> well, shit. Yep, the B button works as well. Um, let's play. I'm doing this through my phone, by the way. I suppose I could just look at the screen normally. Um, let's play my favourite Mario Kart. Mario Kart Super Circuit. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of the dicking around. Um, we'll go quick run. I hate the coins in this game and Super Mario Kart. I don't know why, but... Let's, uh, um, I think it'll land on Wario. How about that? That was an arsey guess. Actually, I might just turn it this way temporarily. Let's go Mario 
Mark. Oh, skipped a bit there. funny because Mario Kart 64 used to be my favorite Mario Kart and then it was Mario Kart 8 after I first played it on my friend's brother's Wii U and then it was Super Circuit I think then it was 8 Deluxe, and now it's back to Super Circuit. Another thing about the GBASP2 is that it unfortunately doesn't have a headphone jack. However, you can buy adapters, but in buying them you'll take away the ability to charge it until you remove the adapter. I am aware that you can get sort of like charging and he headphone adapters, a two-in-one one, and I don't know why I didn't throw that red shell behind me, but, um... Yeah. I've looked everywhere for a split adapter, but I just can't seem to find one. I'd play another game to test it, but I don't want... I don't want to have to put news all through the torture of watching this video any longer, so I'm just going to wrap it up here. Um, thank you so much for making it this far. Um, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and if you're new to watching my videos why not click subscribe I know why because this video is shit and all my videos are but um yeah that's pretty much all I have to say and I'll see you in the next one whenever that may be